All right. So we saw a lot of interesting things. So things are getting pretty exciting. And I want to show you a couple of more things before we kind of conclude this course. So one of the things which is really very interesting is the concept of subreports. So a subreport is a report item that displays another report inside the body of the main report. So think of it like an iframe that you would use in web pages, right? So basically you have two reports and you embed one report inside another, right? And, and pa pass parameters accordingly. So frankly, any report can be used as a sub report. The report that is displayed as the sub report is also stored in the report server. So it's in the same folder. So you can actually treat them as just like any, any simple report and link two reports. So let me kind of show you one simple example. So I'll go ahead and just um, maybe create a shared data source so that I can show you how to create one. Um, so I'll go ahead and add a new data set. And I am going to, uh, let's see. Maybe I didn't cover this in the beginning, but this actually helps if you have multiple reports. So creating a data source, and then we'll create a common data set. And, and in, our, in our examples, the data set has always been sales territory. So I can just go ahead and use that same table um all right okay so this looks good right and i'm going to add a, a add a report new item and i'm going to call this as uh the parent report right so it becomes more simple to understand all right so we have a report and what i'm going to do over here is i am going to create a matrix and I'm going to use the data set that we just created. And let's see, let me go ahead and maybe add a name, right? Okay. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you is maybe I'll create one more report and I'll call this as a sub report. And we'll, we'll see how to link the parent report and the sub report. And if you, if you observe, it's just like any simple report I'm creating, right? And you know, it's, it's like, I'll add a data source just like we do. And again, I can actually use the shared data set as well, but I'm, I'm not using that for one reason because uh, I want to really uh, add a particular parameter also over here. So I'll go ahead and just um, add a data set. And I'll call this as data set two and Oops, let me actually use data source one and then use a query designer. And I'm going to use the same sales territory table, but what I'm going to do is I am just going to use a where clause in this, right? That's, that's the only difference. Where country region code equal to and then the idea of this is that we're going to pass this particular parameter from the parent report into the sub report all right so this is a sub report and i'm going to use a normal table over here and i'll draw drag and drop a couple of things i'll drag and drop um the group oh, let's do this let's do territory id um and the name um, and the group and the sales YTD, right? Simple stuff. So essentially what will happen is if I run this report and, and I actually in just type in US, it's going to show me all the US related data, but the trick over here is this value is going to be passed from the parent report, right? So I'm going to my parent report and let me actually use some other thing, right? Let me, let me use the country region code here. Country region code, right? And next what I'm going to do is, I am going to, um, go ahead and insert a sub report. 
right so inserted a sub report and if i right click on the sub report and see sub report properties it's going to ask me a bunch of questions right so first of all i'm going to say my sub report name is called sub report and what it needs is some parameters for it to work and i'm going to say that it needs a country region code as a parameter and please pass the country region code from the current row right so every row it will pass the country region code and then that will be actually rendered in the sub report so let's see how that works all right so you see australia and then you know a table got displayed uh, us there were you know more than one rows that got displayed and you know so on and so forth so you get a basic idea of how the sub reports work think of it and if you're a you know web designer think of it like an iframe you have you know one or more reports and you're just embedding a couple of reports inside one report and then having the parameters pass from one to another right um, and again this can be really really powerful uh, because think of it this way right we 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 kind of saw how to expand collapse columns in the previous lectures so think of it this way that you expand a particular column and suddenly another report appears right and you can actually use this cascading effect as well so these are all tools and techniques i just wanted to show them and and as and when you need them uh, you at least know that this exists in ssrs uh, for you to go ahead and configure it as needed